Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a video with virtual theme using Canva. You guys can use these videos as an advertisement video or a video for yearbook. Before moving on to the tutorial part, if you like my idea, please click like and subscribe to my channel. And now, let's jump into it. So the very first step that we will do is to access to the home page of Canva and in here, I will click on the video part which will allow us to edit video easily. And after opening the template, now let's move on to the elements part and let's type in the retro or retro background. Here, I will click on the video section where we will have a tons of video and I will go for this one. If you like more videos like this, you can click on the three dots button and then click on see more like this and then you will have a bunch of options right here. Okay, so let's choose this one. Here in the upload session, I have already uploaded my previous design so that I can use the colors in the design and apply it into the new one. And for the background video, let's reduce the transparency and I will scale up the video so that it will fit the background. To create a circle using shortcut, you can type C key on your keyboard and here we will have a circle and you can also add the border for the circle if you want. And for the shortcut to open the text box, you will just need to press the T key on your keyboard. And here we go, we have a text box like this. And the thing that I'm gonna do next is to choose the kind of font that represents retro theme. However, uh, in Canva, sometimes we cannot find the kind of font that we want. So I have already uploaded uh, a font so in the next part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to upload a, a file, a font, from your computer on Canva. You can play a little bit with the text by reducing the line spacing, changing the color, and even adding the effects. For the decoration, you can add in some elements like stars, TV, telephones, or anything that you like. And now it's time to add in some animation. You can click on animate and choose a kind of animation that you want. I will go for the party one because I find this one kind of really interesting. And to create the next scene, you can press down control key and D on your keyboard and then we'll have another slide that is the same as the first one. And now, I will show you how to upload a file of phones from your computer on Canva. So first, we will go to the text and here, you will have to choose your brand. Uh, 
about this one, I have already created a brand and you can add some new phones into this brand by clicking on add new and after this box pops up, you will upload your file from your computer on here and then voila, you can use it on Canva Okay, now let's get back to the second slide and for this slide, there's pretty not much to do because we have already had the background and here we just need to add in the color and also the character and here I've already uploaded a picture that I found on the internet and you can use the background remover tool in Canva to detach the background from the image or if you are not using Canva premium account actually there are pretty much websites on the internet that allow you to detach background from your image for free so you can go up there find a website and then download the detached image one and then upload it on Canva and for the picture right here I want to make it similar to the background so I will go to edit image and then change the color of the image a little bit uh, I will choose the peony or the rosy one and voila here we go the image becomes older a little bit right So for the next scene, it's pretty much the same thing that we did. Uh, we will press Ctrl D key on the keyboard and then we'll change the background and also the main character. The animation is still the same because we haven't changed it. And for the last scene, I will change the background a little bit by rotating the video and then uh, add in some pictures of many people and then add in some text and we finished. For the very last scene, I will duplicate the first slide and then change the text into thank you for watching or any ending sentences that you can find. And then want to watch the video in full screen I'll click on this one and if I feel that everything is okay so the next step will be adding in some music so there are two ways for you to add in some music the first one is to go to the audio part of Canva here you can choose any kind of music that you want but make sure that it is available for your account if you are not using the premium one and the second way is to upload your audio file on Canva and then go to the upload section here 
If you have already uploaded it, it will appear on the audio part. And you just need to click on it and finished. So the last step is to download the video. So you just need to click on here and then download it as the MP4 file. And then we're done. It's really easy, right? So that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Goodbye.